Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, 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 hello teacher. Good evening. Hello, Hello guys, hello, hello. Hello. ¿A dónde es la tormenta? You, you sí, are very bueno. angry, teacher. Hello. Se oye como que fuera una tormenta. There's no sé quién. Yeah, yeah, I, I just listen that too. It's like a, like if there is a noise. I don't know what's that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the English class. So, how are you today? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Awesome, awesome. How is the motivation going? How's the motivation going? This is you are very early in this night. Night. Yeah, and I finish a class and I join. So, it's a busy, you know, very busy time. So, just like uh, <laughs> working so hard because in, there is no choice. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome to everybody. Just actually uh, getting ready to uh, my stuff. Everything that I have here is like um, the many things that I have to do, but you know, very, very happy to be here with you guys. So I want to, to listen a greeting from you guys in English. So how are you today? How are you? I, I want to listen I'm to fine. you. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, we have a uh, we listen. I'm excited, but, ha but I'm happy. Okay, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. <laughs> okay, uh, somebody else, somebody else. I want to listen to you guys. Parece que estamos en vivo, somos famosos. We are in vivo en directo. Entonces hay que lucirse. Hay que lucirse, estamos en vivo. So you know how it is, right? So in front of the camera, say hello to the camera and speak in English. So, how are you? How are you guys? I am fine, thanks. Okay. Thanks for letting me know that. It's good. And you? Oh, great. I mean, very happy. I'm a little tired. Um, I work since very early in the morning until night. So, and, I, and I'm actually very happy. After this, I have a class, another class too. So, I'm actually very excited to be here with you guys and also have the motivation. And uh, okay, who else is going to say something to the class? Alguien más que se nos una al club que nos diga algo en English? Somebody else? Okay, uh, somebody else practice the expressions? I'm angry. Angry? Yeah. Is, a ba is something bad? Is something bad? Angry or hungry? Hungry. Angry is when you are mad, when you have a bad feeling, you got a bad attitude. And hungry. when you're hungry, it's because you are starving. You need something to eat. I'm hungry. Ah, okay, okay, all right. So, all right. Hung so hungry. So hungry, oh my goodness. Uh, um, I haven't had my dinner yet, but I ate like in a snack. I ate a snack, so that can kill me to at least stand like a cookie. So good to, to eat early because after the show, we are like, oh my God, oh my God, so, so that's uh, very tiring. And this is happening with most of you that you work very late and then you go home and well, so most of you are tired to be like working the whole day. And the, the time that we are supposed to rest, this is the time we have for the class, but it's a great investment. Okay, let me see how many members do we have, right? We are, we are a, a members right away. And also, let me see. Oh, it's uh, nine, nine two. Okay, somebody else. Is somebody else that wants to say something in English? Um, this is the time to speak. Teacher. I am very tired. Very tiring. Okay. Yes. Enjoy a cook. Very oh, cool. Okay. Uh, hydrated uh, drink. It's a good drink. Okay. Oh, nice. That's okay. It hydrate, but it's okay. Or maybe water. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Nice, Christian. Thanks for letting me know about that. Teacher, um, 
Yes. It's very interesting your, your days in routines and uh, in your platform. Uh, that are in every, I mean, every 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 days. It's very interesting. Ah, the information, the homework. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. So, guys, it's 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 nice. So, all every day there is a homework, so you can work in that. And there are interesting activities. So, every time is going to be like improving, improving, and the level is going to go up, right? Eh, como sabemos, eh, cada módulo el nivel va subiendo. Entonces. Así el nivel va subiendo, nosotros tenemos que ir subiendo también. So we need to go. So that's why we had to, you know, work so hard and, um, and focus in what we are doing. So are the exercises. So great point. And I would say that in Spanish. No se les olvide que cada día tenemos que estar eh, haciendo las actividades al final de la clase, eh, estar haciendo la, la tarea de cada día en, en la plataforma de inglés eh, corporativo. El día de mañana temprano, antes de las entre 8 y 9, estoy subiendo ya las, las notas, el consolidado de notas, así que no se les va a olvidar a nadie y se los voy a recordar al final de que entreguen, eh, de que hagan las actividades de esta semana. Eh, hay, hay varios que estoy viendo en la plataforma que todos los días lo hacen, o sea, al final de la clase y, y muy bien, ¿verdad? porque va completando all the activities, so that's good. Teacher, a question. Yes. Eh, por casualidad podría corroborar a qué persona le toca ahora eh, el extra, el que se utiliza en 10 minutos, por favor. Reinforcement. Eh, it's in the group too. También está en el chat. Eh, también usted lo puede ver en el chat, en el grupo. Um, it's, it's right there. Uh, eh, yo digo, la persona que le toca la... La parte extra que hace después de la clase, los 10 minutos. Ah, ahí está, ahí está en, uh, en el Adiveras. grupo. Sí, ahí está la lista. Ok, ok, yo lo reviso entonces, gracias. All right, and let me see here because... One second. Today is Friday 16. Uh, so we have... Eh, Christian, <laughs> you Christian, Christian Ernesto, yeah, so this, okay. this day. Okay, okay, That's okay. okay. thank this you. Okay. All right, you're welcome. All right, okay. and okay, okay, we're going to start today because it's actually the time, so I would like to pass the attendance list to everybody, but I just want to know, guys, about your day. How was your day in your job? How was your day? And what activities did you do? What things... Uh, you can socialize. Teacher. Yes. In, uh, in the WhatsApp group, uh, alguien, alguien escribió que va a entrar tarde. No sé, alguien puso ahí ahorita eso. Karen, Karen Morataya. Y Brian, Brian acaba de entrar y él preguntaba que... ¿Cómo va a reponer el tiempo que le tocaba ayer? Entonces, me imagino que le va a tocar el día que, que me tocaba a mí, ¿no? Exacto, exactamente. El día que le tocaba a usted. Eh, aquí les mando el... No me recuerdo qué fecha era. Eh, Se lo voy a mandar otra vez. Porque no, yo grupo. lo tengo, pero, pero solo para que le, para que le dé la información a, a Brian, que, que, lo, que, que va, lo... va en mi turno. Yes, it's, it's in your turn. Your... But uh, Jose, we have a great conversation today. Yesterday was was a great conversation. Yeah, it was Thanks. good. Yeah. Eh, le tocaría en este caso la fecha de el jueves 22 de uh, el jueves 22 uh, de abril le tocaría el jueves 22 le tocaría a él. Okay, uh, yes, 22, 22, right? Okay, ready Brian, to put... Brian, ayer cambiamos. Entonces, yo me okay. quedé por, por vos. Okay, we're going to... Yeah. Y también Eli, también le, le, le tocó así a Eli. So, Eli también tiene que hacer ese... 
ese cambio. Teacher. Yes. Ah, no, no va a entrar ya. Con, ah, con lo, ahorita, lo ahorita ya no está aquí, ¿sabes? Es cierto. Yeah, that's right. I mean, ya no apareció. Okay, so we're going to take that into account. Well, I'm going to pass the attendant list right now. So, because I'm, I was waiting to, uh, to load the page. So, just give me one second. Okay, I'm actually checking the list here. So, just give me one second. And uh, Friday, Ana Cecilia Martinez. Uh, absent. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. And Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Uh, Kristen Ernesto Lazo. Eh, no está Cristian Cristian Ernesto Lazo eh, Eliad Saen Matut Present eh, Ok uh, One second eh, David Orlando Álvarez David Orlando Álvarez No está David Orlando um, Guillermo Antonio García Present José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. José Rodrigo Hernández. He's not. Uh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. She said that she's going to join. Se va a unir después. Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. No está. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Mauricio Enrique García. Eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Eh, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Uh, Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Eh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present. Uh, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Eh, Loida. She's absent. Okay. Okay, guys, let's start today, and I would like you to have a short backup about what, what did we study in the last class. So we, we had a great topic yesterday, and we socialized some important information. So for this, I, I want you to help me to talk a little bit about what did we do in the class. ¿De qué hablábamos en la clase anterior? Uh, who remembers? What was the today, the yesterday's topic? What we discussed about it? Cuéntenme. What did we do? ¿Qué hablábamos? ¿Qué decíamos? What did we discuss? How much and how many? Okay. The uses, uses of expression. Okay, the uses and expressions, all right. What else? What else did we talk about? ¿Qué más decíamos? What else did we discuss in, in the class? The use, of how, the use of how many and how much and how many for countable nouns, hours, days, weeks, years, and how much? For uncountable nouns, nouns, money, time, ATC. All right, that's awesome. That, that that's interesting. Yeah, that was the topic. That was the topic. And also, we talk about uh, how many days uh, a week do do you work. That was the topic. For example, uh, if I ask, 
let me see. Um, uh, Wendy Maribel, how many days a week do you work? I work uh, six six days in a week. Okay, thank you. And uh, Ana Lile Reyes, how many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work? En español, teacher, que ahorita se me fue. Ah, ¿a dónde se, se le fue, dice? <laughs> Check the material. La Check. idea. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Check the material. How many days? Six days, five days a week, seven days a week. How many days? ¿Cuántos días a la semana trabaja? Uh, six. Six days, all right. Uh, Bright, okay, that's okay. And what about Brian Javier? How many days do you work? I work on the Monday and uh, Saturday. From Monday to Saturday. Okay, that's okay. Around six days. All right, that's that's good. Let me see. Okay, Brenda, how many days do you work a day? I work uh, six days from Monday to Saturday. Okay, that's okay. Um, Eli, uh, how much time do you have to to complete your task at work? Uh, I start at eight in the morning. I go for lunch at 12 o'clock, I go in at 1 p.m. and and I go out at 4.30 p.m. and I go home. Okay, that's that's great. Thank you so much. Okay, that's thank right. you. Yeah, so oh, that's, that's great. Okay, Eli, uh, choose somebody else from the class. Choose somebody else from the class. Okay, listen to your teacher. Any Read. Any Any Loida. Who? No, está, verdad? No, no, she's not. Saira, Saira, Saira. Saira? Okay, okay. Uh, how much time do you have to complete your task at work? Ay, me perdí, me perdí, teacher. Uh, how much time do you have to complete your task at work? Do you remember this? ¿Se acuerda de la pregunta? Do you remember the question? Okay. ¿Cuánto tiempo usted tiene o necesita para completar? completar sus actividades en el trabajo? Um, five, five days. Mm, uh, in this case, how much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Six hours, four hours, two hours? Nine, nine hours. Nine hours a day? Hours daily. At, at, okay. Wow. Nine hours a day. It's a lot of time. That includes lunch time. Includes lunch. One, one hour. Okay. Um, work five days a week. Okay. Five days a week. Nine hours every day. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, that's okay. So that's what we did, guys. We we talked uh, also about a conversation. We have a conversation uh, talking about how much and how many. And uh, this is part of so the grammar structures. We work with some exercises in which we had to decide if that was how many, how much. And also some exercises that we did together as a team. 
in a paragraph, a line of paragraph about events and activities, you and one coworker doing the company. So that was what we did. And uh, I can see that you have a fresh, a fresh, fresh information. And I'm very happy for you because that's, that's important to retain. And this is one advantage we have. This is una ventaja que tenemos, que como es una clase diaria, entonces cada día nosotros refrescamos. Y no solo una hora, sino que es dos horas. Y eso hace que este curso sea exitoso, porque tenemos no solo una hora, son dos horas. Y en cada hora se refuerza everything. So the content, vocabulary, questions, and, and those stuff. So that's why it's very impressive. And, and that's why the, the discipline is very important for this. La disciplina en lo que hacemos y en, y en estar puntual y bring activities to work in that makes uh, this process uh, more comfortable. And also with your results. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to be like much better in the process. So I can see some students that work with me in the last model. Y ya vemos acá en el módulo 2 que pues, han avanzado y van a seguir avanzando, okay? Okay, let's start with the next topic. And we're going to uh, check the unit, uh, the following unit. So in this case, Guillermo, can you help me to read the new topic? Can you help me to read the new topic? Um, unit yes. one. Uh -huh. Okay. Videoconferencia numero cinco. Uh, simple presence, review, and practice. Okay, so let's see. All right, so that's the that's the point. That that was good, and uh, let's continue with this. Look at this. What are we going to do? Who wants to help me to read it? Can you help me read it? Yep. Okay. I will be able to practice simple presence, tense to describe routines. Okay, that, that's, that's part of this one. So uh, as we said, it's like a backup. Uh, it's a simple present review on the practice. And we uh, also match the ideas to practice simple present tense to describe routine. So maybe in affirmative and also with negative in the process. So we're going to see this one. Uh, look, look at the examples here. Uh, check, check the rules, check the rules here. Look at this. Read or what? Yeah, yes. Yes, check the structure. Check the structure because I need to explain it. Okay, as you can see here, we have the structure. So we use the grammar uh, extra practice. So this is like vocabulary. And also we use the simple present for third person, singular and plural, negative statements. So uh, as a backup, we just reinforced uh, the structure, the simple, the simple present in negative. As we said, we can see here the example and uh, she doesn't or she does not. She does not work on the weekends, like example, or they do not have much time. Uh, so we can see uh, she doesn't, she does not work on weekends and they do not have much time. Those sentences son conocidas como full forms, que es la forma completa, porque no lleva ninguna uh, contraction. So, but look at this one, look at the, the next chart, look at the next chart. We have the grammar structures. Como es la estructura gramatical? The subject. Uh, okay, I need I need to ask you. 
Who wants to help me to say the personal pronouns? ¿Qué me quiere decir los personal pronouns in English? What are the personal pronouns? ¿Cuáles son? Me. Yes. I. Ajá. You. Yes. He, he, he. We. They. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. And you. Exactly. So we're using the personal pronouns that this could be the subject or also the singular or plural names like Juan, Antonio, Maria, Carlos y Juan, Daniela and Carlos, Pedro and Santiago. So we are just talking about some names. That's what we call subjects. And also we have the auxiliary do and does. And like she does and plus not. She does not. You don't not. So you can see you don't. And also the verb. So we have the verb here and the complement. This is the grammar structure. Grammar structure, the subject, a auxiliary do or does plus not plus the verb plus the complement. Okay, who wants to help me to read the sentences? The four sentences. I need a volunteer. Me. Okay. Maria does not work at HPBC. Marcos does not stay late at work. Okay. John and Imperial do not write the report. We do not send letters. Letters. Letters, letters. Yeah, letters. Okay, look at this is like the general structure because it's like a part of grammar, but I will show you some extra material that's gonna be very valuable. This. Look at this. We have also this, this the present simple. I need another volunteer to help me to write the general information. Who wants to do it? Who wants to read? Me, Wendy. Okay, excellent. Go ahead, Wendy. Todo? Yes, yes. The present simple is in negative form. Has this structure, subject, uh, do, does, not, verb. Do, does, uh, the, the third person singular change, change from do to does, verb, the base base form of the verb uh, is the same without without any change. changes regular verb changes what changes 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 irregular verb to be i am not you aren't she isn't it's okay it's okay so look at this one so we got like the general rules right so for doing that and thank you so much for reading and Wendy I appreciate it so the third person singular changes from do to does as we know she doesn't he doesn't Carlos doesn't Maria doesn't Antonio doesn't oh does not does not she does not but in a conversation, it's more common eh, to use contraction. Más que todo para las conversations, para una conversación fluida, es mejor utilizar lo que es la like contraction para no estar diciendo, well, it's because she does not work in the project. So she doesn't work in the project. So eh, es mucho más práctico el usar los contractions. Para eso han sido creados, para usarlos en una conversación y que sea mucho más práctico. And also we have the verb. Uh, the base form of verb is the same without any changes. Es decir, que el verbo no cambia. El verbo sigue igual. She does not. Played. Danced. Sleep. 
work. Entonces el verbo no tiene ningún cambio. Independientemente sea tercera persona, el verbo cuando es en, usando el don't, no cambia. She doesn't work. De repente un estudiante me, me escribía. Teacher. She doesn't speak. When you say speak. Oh, it's third person. No, no, no. Porque el does hace la función de auxiliar. Entonces, el, el verbo va en su forma normal o natural. O en infinitivo. Sleep, dance, travel, go, jump, run, study, travel, etc. Look at the examples. We have the subject. And also, we have, look at this. Uh, we're going to read the first part. Vamos a leer la primera parte que está acá. We have here the subject and also and does not or does. Okay, look at this. You can see, as you see, the subject, the subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, do, and they, and also eh, la forma natural. Do not, do not, does not, does not, do not. Entonces vemos como la estructura eh, es normal Plus the complement. En este caso, si vemos, aquí ya se convierte en una contraction. Entonces igual, but eh, there is a contraction like work, en este caso, don't, right? In a short form. Work, don't work. Don't study. Don't play. Doesn't. Entonces vemos la estructura de estos verbos, right? This is like the general form. He doesn't study. I don't work. You don't travel to Brazil. Well, Pedro doesn't live in London. Daniel and Antonio don't complete the homework. Luis uh, don't, doesn't study for the test. Entonces, vamos viendo como la estructura general, como un pequeño review about the class. Let's continue. One second. I need to move this. Okay, look at this one. I have some examples because this is a back app. So, who wants to help me to read this this chart? Um, can we carry that a little volunteer? Me, me. Yes, thank you. Okay. Example: complete action that happened as we speak. The taxi driver doesn't disappear, but Teacher don't don't perform um, import roles in, in society. Society. Um, so, society. That's society. Okay. Role in society. Habit routines. I I don't usually wake up at eight o'clock. My boss doesn't go to the gym twice a week. We don't go to the cinema too much. Informal narrative. Informal narrative. Don't go straight and don't turn left. Don't restart. Uh, no sé cómo Eh, se escucha como cortado, no sé. Difícil. Don't restart your mobile phone. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, yes. Don't restart. Yes. Eh, 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 y ahora, y ahora. Ok. Ok. Okay. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't the, the, don't only. Okay. Don't don't dedicate. Ah, don't dedicate. Okay. Don't dedicate. Okay. Don't dedicate yourself to your study. Your mic, your mic, teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, <laughs> microphone. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, so we have read some examples uh, about these uh, actions that happen as we speak, right? Uh, for example, the tractor driver doesn't disappear. So like some examples. And we have some facts, look at the facts and also the vocabulary, the habits and uh, routines. Like uh, I don't usually, my boss doesn't go to the gym. <laughs> we don't go to the cinema. I don't dedicate time for myself, like examples like that. And do you have any question or doubts about vocabulary or any uh, understanding vocabulary? I don't know if you have any question. Uh, eh, strange, strange, ¿qué significa? Don't go strange. Oh, eh, no sé cómo se... Don't go straight and don't turn left. Okay, don't go straight es como que no te vayas recto. No te vayas recto ni cruces a la izquierda. Entonces, es like, es como una indicación. Eh, se le llama informal narrative. Don't okay. go straight and don't turn left. Entonces, no te vayas recto ni cruces, no cruces a la izquierda. Because we have left and we have right. Any other statement? What's the meaning? Meaning disappear. Disappear is like that someone or something is not in one place. As we say in Spanish, desaparecer. Disappear. Y está muy bien la pronunciación. Y el compañero pronunció muy bien las palabras. So the pronunciation was, the, was great. So congratulations because okay. he pronounced the words properly. So that's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so those are the examples uh, because we have like a backup about the activity. Let's go with the next one. And who wants to help me to read the next? Another volunteer because there are some students that they are like quiet. They don't speak, but I, we have some names that we don't see them participating in. So, okay, who wants to read? ¿Quién nos ayuda a leer? Yo, teacher, Lilian. Oh, Lilian, excellent. Good, good, Lilian. You can start. Okay. Instruction, uh, don't, don't go trying and 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 don't uh, turn 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 left. Do don't rest restart uh, your mob mobile algo así mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Uh, don't dedicate 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 <coughs> dedicate yourself to your uh, studies. 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 A permanent situation. I don't, I don't live in Russia. She, she does. She doesn't. She does work. Uh, she doesn't work. And I, I police in a it's, police station. In a police station. The doctor, they, is, I, I me trago, teacher, oh, ayuda. Didn't study maths. The doctor. Didn't study maths. Didn't study maths. Maths. Plainy, plainy futuri. Uh, future. I don't is. Sorry. Uh, future. Future. Yes, the futuro. I, future. Okay. I don't start my my new job. Um. Ya me perdí ahí en el 17. Seventeen. Seventeenth. Seventeen. Seventeen June. The exam period descent in twenty four 
doesn't in and on 24 December uh, Emily's plane doesn't land in 20 20 four hours two in two bueno teacher que no lo hice perfecto pero lo intenté in two in two uh, hours okay. All right, great. Thank you so much. I, I, I like it. That was great. So you are like progressing. <clears throat> and uh, exactly. So we have some rules like instructions, permanent situations, playing future activities. I don't start my job on, on uh, 17 June, right? And do you have any questions about vocabulary or any expressions or something that maybe you would like to, to focus? Uh, equations seven seventeen is seventeenth o como o como sería el th eh, es eh, el número es seventeen seventeenth y suena el t es como una t seventeenth el th, la th ajá uh -huh, la th oh, entonces okay. seventeenth 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 que es un okay. ordinal number Yes. Y lo del 24 lo dije bien. 24. Dije. Eh, ah, 24. 24. 24. Oh. Y suena el T. Es T. T. T-H. T. 24. 21st. 22nd. 25th. 27th. 28th. 29th. So we just like pronounced la TH. La TH para hacer los ordinal nombres. Y Rusia, Rusia se pronuncia Rusia. It's a country, Rusia. Rusia. Eh, periodo es period. Eh, the exam period, que está la, la, la penúltima. The exam period doesn't end on 24th December. So it's like a period. Um, okay, questions, questions? What's the meaning of strain? Straight is like, it's like go in one direction. Uh, straight, que significa recto. No te vayas recto. Oh. Oh, okay. And uh, don't turn left. Y no cruces a la izquierda. Uh, Cristian Ernesto. Teacher. Perdón, Cristian Ernesto. No vemos su cámara. Encendida. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Tengo okay. problemas con el Inter, pero ahorita sí. Ya, okay. Ya, ya. That's okay. I'm sorry. sorry. All right. Don't worry about it. Okay. And any other question you have, guys? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más preguntas? What questions you can socialize? Solamente eh, eh, la última línea donde dice: Yo lo leí en mi list. Eh, quisiera que lo leyera usted para escuchar la pronunciación. No, si usted lo dijo bien, o sea, ahí ya no tengo que leerlo, ya usted lo dijo de... Ay, Cali. teacher, el último, yo quiero estar segura de que estoy hablando. <ríe> Vaya, pues. Más o menos medio bien. Vaya, está bueno, está bueno. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda a leerlo? Porque este, ustedes pueden más que yo. A ver, un voluntario, que quiero que lo lea alguien más. Quiero motivarme, yo, así que, a ver, ¿quién, ¿quién me lo lee? El hijo, teacher. Vaya, sí. vaya, pues le vamos a dar ahí. ¿Sí? ¿Quiere elegir usted? Vaya. Sí, yo quiero que lo lea alguien. Es que Vaya, me gusta eh. cómo se escucha la pronunciación y siento como que más, más como mí. que puedo aprender. Ah, vaya, mire, es como un Estoy teacher, hablando mire. de alguien nueva. Ah, claro. ah y todos los demás. Eh, la compañera Jenny. No, teacher, es que, es que solamente pongan toda atención y díganme si están de acuerdo o no. Quiero que lo lea la compañera Jenny. Ahí a Jenny. Excelente. Okay. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Ahí está. Muy bien. Ya ve. Calidad, calidad. <coughs> Mire, y los compañeros del grupo, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó ahí, Ana? <risa> Nada, teacher. Todos nos queremos mucho y compartimos, pero, o sea, todos, somos todos. 
Ahora que lo haga Eli. Tengo otra en otra, ahora esa se la voy a dar a Eli. Ah, vaya, mire, hasta elige. Aquí vaya, no se discrimina a nadie, ah, pues sí. <risa> vaya, pues Eli. Yo, yo, yo lo medio leí a ella como pude, así que creo que puedo pedirle a alguien que me apoye ahí en, en lo de la pronunciación. Ok, ¿Cuál, el, el, ¿cuál, el, Eli? el chico de los bonos. Ok, Eli. El de los bonos, <risa> ¿Cuál? Eh, eh, está donde dice, eh, donde está el 24, pues, para mm. ser más exacto. The exam period does in or um, 34 4th December. That's an end. Okay. And on 34th December. Yeah. Okay. That's that's okay. So we can see here the statements and also the rules. Vamos con la siguiente parte. Vamos con la siguiente. So we have like uh, some examples here. It says present, uh, simple present, do in negative uh, sentences. Please fill in the gaps in these spaces right there. And you have to write the, the verb using a doesn't or don't according to the subject. So this is what you had to do. And also I want you to focus on the same because it's like a practical exercise. Look at this. Uh, uh, I will help you to read. Sarah and, and potatoes. Peter, uh, tidy, the verb is tidy, up. He's from every day. Mary and Leanna uh, play football. My dogs um, go in the pond. The frog is nice, but it um, not live in her house or garden, not look very nice. The children not play in the garden. We uh, know the answer and they not work very hard. Okay, so what we had to do is to take a short time to complete the statements using a uh, don't or doesn't. Uh, we're going to use contractions this time. Ok, vamos a utilizar contractions, así que eh, vamos con esta parte. Go with this. Y les vamos a dar unos minutos para que lo pueda hacer. Some minutes in order you to work on that. Let's see here. Voy a poner de nuevo la pantalla. Teacher, puede poner de nuevo la pantalla, por favor. Teacher. Teacher. 
Teacher. Your microphone. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, can you see this? Que si podía so, poner uh, de nuevo la pantalla. Oh yes, pantalla. right here. Right here, so. That's, that's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay, thank you. Ready. All right. finish okay that's that's okay so we're going to socialize uh, these uh, informations and also look at the example because we also have to to work at this and look at this ds meets what do you think could be the answer ds meets don't don't go on holiday. So in this case, we replace and we use DS Meet. Don't go. This is the correct statement. Okay, we're going to we're gonna be saying names. Let me see. Okay, uh, Anna Lillian, what is the number one? Uh, she does. She does. 
Ajá, sería chitas, no. Como es negativa, ¿verdad? La oración. Ajá. Eh, ¿Y si la hacemos en forma contractada? Ay, me pierdo, Tichi. No sabía hacerlo así. Para son like. Doesn't. Yes. Doesn't. She doesn't like. Yeah. And so we had to eliminate this part here. Doesn't so like. uh, she, she doesn't, doesn't like. like. She doesn't like potatoes. Sí. O sea que si, si se hace en forma contractada, lo que cambia, le agregaría este doesn't y quitaría not. Aquí está solo que está en forma contractada. Okay. Doesn't. Ahí está en forma de contraction. Ok, let me see. Uh, Saira Marlene, the number two. Help me with the number two, Saira. Peter Dassel. Peter Dassel tidy up his room every day. Okay, doesn't tie it up. Doesn't tie up his run every day. Oh, this is a very common bird. Okay, uh, let me see. David Orlando, the number three. David Orlando. Uh, Mary um, Lena. Do not play football. Okay, in using contractions, using contractions. Uh, they don't not. They? Don't. Uh -huh. They don't play football. Okay, excellent. You got it because it's plural. So Mary and Liana, don't play so that don't is that play. Is, yes don't play that's okay um let me see w more names uh brenda beatriz number four look at this my dogs and um, doesn't oh, wow. go in the prom uh but dogs is plural uh, don't don't go in the phone. Okay. Don't uh, look at this. Don't go, my dogs don't go because it's actually uh, plural. In the pound, my dogs don't what's go. The, what's the meaning pound? Pound, it's a place uh, like a, a big circle surrounded by water. And also you can see some uh, kind of a stream of water in that place as we call a uh, fuente, uh, like a water font, como una fuente de agua. Ooh. That is a pound. Okay, oh. Jose Hernandez, uh, the number five, please. The phone is nice, but it doesn't live in our house. Uh, doesn't live. Doesn't live, doesn't live. Yes. Uh, doesn't live in our house. Okay, doesn't live in our house. Very good. Let's, let's see, Mauricio Enrique, and number six. Eh, Mauricio Enrique. Uh, Mauricio Enrique, we don't we don't listen. Uh, the microphone. Our garden don't look very nice. Uh, but garden is singular. Sorry, sorry. Our garden doesn't. Look very nice. 
Okay. Okay. Regarding that's that's not oh uh, doesn't look very nice. So so needs uh needs a repairman or something like that according to the context. So let's see here. So we're going to that. Number seven. Uh, the children. Uh, we're going to ask to Marisol Bet uh, Betania. Sí, pero no quites. Marisol. Anda a ver la película como va, pero lavate la boca por si te dormís. Micrófono. Ahí se la puso hablar tu hermano. Brenda, micrófono. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Estamos en vivo y en directo. Number, okay. Number seven, teacher. Yes. Uh, the children don't play in the garden. Okay. Don't play in the garden. That's okay. That was great. Easy like a piece of cake. Um, Mayra Veraliz, number eight. Yes, number eight. We don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, we don't, we don't know the answer. Okay, great. Congratulations. And Brian, the number nine. Brian, the number nine. Yes. Again. They don't work very hard. Vamos a trabajar la práctica. We're going to work in the practice. Vamos a formar eh, parejas y vamos a practicar la pronunciación. We're going to practice the pronunciation about the two statements. Que serían acá, estas que están acá. And also, we're going to have a practice. Let's go with this. Quiero que practiquen la pronunciación. Para eso usted me va a escuchar y va a ir repitiendo después de mí. Las dos líneas de oraciones, the two lines of the statements. Look at this. And uh, listen carefully for every statement. Don't, don't go straight and don't turn left. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. I don't live in Rocha. I don't live in Rocha. She doesn't work in a police station. She doesn't work in a police station. The doctor didn't study math. Okay, hacemos un cambio acá para que sea present y decimos the doctor doesn't study math. The doctor doesn't study math. Y que suene math. I don't start my new job on September, June. I'm sorry, I don't start my new job on 17th June. I don't start my new job on 17th June. Okay. 
the exempt period doesn't end on 24th December. The exempt period doesn't end on 24th December. Emily's plans doesn't land in two hours. Emily's plan doesn't land in two hours. Okay, guys, uh, focus on this one because later we're going to make groups and you're going to practice with your partners the following statements. So uh, the, the purpose about working together is that, for example, if, if I am mispronouncing a word, I have the capacity to help my partner to say, mira, no se dice dedicate, se dice dedicate. So you work together and you support about the practice. And remember that when we are reading, we don't have to read like, so, uh, like a forced vocabulary. Cuando leamos, no es necesario que, que, que leamos tan forzado. Por ejemplo, uh, don't, sino que es like suave, don't dedicate yourself, permanent. Entonces, así bien, bien natural, bien natural. Entonces, eh, repito, don't go straight and don't turn left. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. I don't live in Russia. She doesn't work in a police station. The doctor doesn't study math. I don't start my new job on 17th June. The exam period doesn't end on 24th December. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Okay, uh, do you have any question guys about the vocabulary? Eh, para que pasemos a la siguiente. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta? How do, you, how do you say land in Spanish? Eh, Emily plane, aterrizar. En este caso, eh, Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Es decir, que el avión de Emily no aterriza en dos horas. Thank you. All right, that's okay. What the meaning restart? Restart. Eh, reiniciar. Reiniciar. That is restart. It's like a, that just as a word, restart. When you, eh, for example, turn off the cell phone and you turn on, that is restart. Okay, any other question about the vocabulary? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Eh, se dice mobile o mobile. Eh, eh, hay dos pronunciaciones. Está mobile and mobile. So that's the pants. People can say mobile or mobile. So it could be both of them. It's the same. Yeah, it's actually very similar. For example, the British people pronounce in a in a different way, so like this. And also people say mobile, and but it's in Spanish. Let me see. Yeah, but the most common is mobile, mobile phone, mobile, especially in England, mobile, mobile phone. So if we use the American, that would be better that we use mobile phone. Thank as, you. As we, okay, it's as we say in English, telephone mobile. Okay, no more? Pasamos a la siguiente? Hola. Yeah. Ask the question. Okay. Plane or how do you pronounce it? Plane. 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 
plane. ¿Y, eh, ¿y qué significa? Eh, el avión. Avión. No, no, no. Eh, planet. <risa> avión. Future. No, no. Ese es sin la E. Plane no, es... No, no, yo pregunto en el... ¿Dónde está arriba? Plane el future. ¿O cómo ah, se le dice... Ah, significa? ah, futuro planeado. Es a plane. A plane. <ríe> okay. Suena el... Plane. 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 Esa D. Ok. Yes, en futuro planeado. Por eso dice, I don't start my new job on 17 June. So that's a... It's a, a new job. So it's, it's a plan future. Ok, vamos con el siguiente. Ok, vamos a leer los siguientes y luego vamos a los breakout rooms to practice the pronunciation. Ok, for example, we use um, the simple present do in negative statements like number one, Sarah, people say pronounce Sarah, doesn't like potatoes. Eh, puede practicar conmigo. Eh, Sarah doesn't like potatoes. Number two, Peter doesn't tie up his room every day. Peter doesn't tie up his room every day. Mary and Lena don't play football. Mary and Lena don't play football. My dogs don't go in the pond. My dogs don't go in the pond. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Hello. Estaba revisando y al parecer la eh, la tarea que teníamos que hacer ayer era de esta clase. ¿En serio? Sí. Ya vamos a revisar porque esto es como backup. Bueno. Si no, pues va a ser como refuerzo. So, ya, yeah, we will check that. We will check that. Si no, pues ya salí mal. We will see. You can try. Si no puede intentar. No, no, no. Estuvo bien, pero, pero sí es la, la clase de hoy. Ah, ok. Ok, o that's... Me... Los chicos, no sé. Si... I don't know. So we, we, can, we can check. We can check. Como este es, ese material es el que está en el, en el manual. So it's like a sequence. It's like a sequence in the manual. Entonces... Esas, esas partes no me salieron a mí en el manual. No la tengo. Este, este es como el, es como es un feedback. Este es como adicional, pero, pero es como general, digamos. Es como el tema general, como refuerzo. Teacher. Yes. Yesterday in, in tonight, I, yo estaba revisando las dos tareas porque yo tenía la duda si iba a tener clase ahora por una eventualidad que tenía en el trabajo. All right. Me adelanté y trabajé las dos tareas. Y las dos tareas son, como dice Brenda, perdón, Zaira, la de ayer tiene relación con esto, pero también tenía relación con lo que vimos ayer. La de hoy, la de hoy tiene que ver todo con lo que estamos viendo en el backup. Exactly, es como un repaso, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. It's common review. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Look at this. And we say that the frog is nice, but it doesn't live in her house. 
the mm -hmm. frog is nice, but it doesn't live in, in our house. Practice. Number six, our garden doesn't look very nice. Our garden doesn't look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. The children don't play in the garden. We don't know the answer. We don't know the answer. They don't work very hard. They don't work very hard. Okay, so we're actually, uh, we're actually, we're going to work in this activity. Um, so for this, we're going to practice. Uh, acuérdense que es importante que le demos nosotros el acento, that we give the accent. Como les digo, no es lo mismo que diga, Sara doesn't like potatoes. It sounds like Spanish. You say, Sarah doesn't like potatoes. Entonces, vamos a darle como un, like, vamos a dar como un estilo así, un acento. Yo sé que, que, que para muchos es, es un poco más difícil, pero vamos a intentarlo. Yo sé que usted puede. Yo sé que de repente usted le dice, hablen así como que, como que fuera, no sé, extranjero. Oh, sí, yo querer comer. Entonces, ese mismo acento, transfórmelo a un inglés. O sea, en vez de decir, oh, Sarah doesn't like potatoes. Entonces, usted ve el cambio de voz. Y usted lo puede hacer. El reto va a ser que usted me va a leer esas oraciones con el acento, con un acento bonito, con un acento aceptable. But before I need to pass the second attendant list, so I'm just going to call your name right now. And please say present. Um, sí. Ana Cecilia Martinez. She's not. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. And Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Uh, Kristen Ernesto Lazo. Present teacher. Um, David Orlando Alvarez. Present. Eh, Elia Tzael Matut. Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Present. José Arnoldo Mascariego. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. Present. Eh, Karen Vanessa Moretaya. Present. Eh, Marisol Betania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Santos. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Santos. He is absent. Mauricio Enrique García Olmedo. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez Sánchez. Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Uh, Jenny Suleima Santos Sánchez. Present. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, and Loida, she's not here. Okay. Let me see here. So we're going to check um, right away the next part. And um, well, let me let me show the presentation again. Acuérdense que esta información la tienen en su 
la tienen en el grupo, así que ahí pueden ustedes ver esta presentación que tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Por si dicen, teacher, es que no la tengo, ahí está, yo se las mando siempre en la tarde o ya al final, entonces usted puede revisar la presentación previamente eh, pues, y darle ya el toque mágico, ¿verdad? Que usted le da a, a, los, a las presentaciones, así que vamos a la, a la parte de la, de la práctica, pronunciation, I want to listen to you very like, wow, it's like dark hand. So, con un acento diferente. Entonces, ya cuando escuchemos a Wendy, usted va a escuchar que está allá en, en Londres, allá en London, cuando usted escucha a Wendy pronunciar eh, las oraciones. Que, que cuando vean a Eli digan, y bueno, y esto muchacho es extranjero, ¿verdad? por el acento. ¿verdad? Entonces, everything will depends on the practice, on the, on the way of we have the acting. Como les digo, nosotros podemos leerlo acá. Yo se los puedo leer así como que Peter doesn't tie up his room every day. Y lo dije bien, si lo leí, claro. Pero si le doy un estilo diferente, we can make a statement sounds better. And one of the, one of the, the beautiful things about a language is when we so speak the language and also we have a great accent, so it's much better the way we talk. So that's, uh, that's something that we, we don't have to forget. Se lo digo por experiencia. A medida que usted usa un acento diferente, el inglés se, se ve diferente. Entonces, eh, es por ello de que la práctica hace, hace al maestro. Entonces, no sé si tienen una pregunta en esa parte. Do you have a question? A question in this part? Do you have any question? About the pronunciation? Um, about the practice? I don't know. What's the meaning? Gaps. Ah, eh, los espacios. Eh, the spaces. Espacio. Uh -huh. oh. Es decir, completa los espacios con don't or doesn't. Yes. Ok. Right. Mary and Ian, Excuse me? Number three. Mary and Lena. Lena. Uh, Lena, don't Mary play. And Rina. Yes, Mary and, and Lena. Don't play football. Don't play football. Ok, thank you. Foot, football, all right. Time draft teacher. Which Time one? Tied up. Uh, ah, two. Ah. Tied up. T tied up. Tied. Tied, tied up. ¿Qué significa tied up? Es que no ordena su habitación cada día. So Peter doesn't tie up. But it's tidy. Tidy up. Tied up. So tidy. Tidy. And you say tied up. Hey guys, do you tidy up your room? Do you tidy up your room? Tidy up. Tidy up. Uh huh. Ordenan ustedes su habitación? Do you tidy up your room? doesn't tidy Sometimes. up his room every day. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes it's very clear. Oh, oh really? Okay. Oh my yes. God. Eh, entonces en inglés es neat. Es ordenado. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo? Neat. neat. También neat. significa ordenado. Entonces, neat. Y lo hueso ordenado, ¿cuál era? Mess. Y desordenado, messy. Eh, no juega bien. <laughs> ok, entonces, neat es como tidy. Tidy and neat. Y tied up. Cuando usted lo lee, pues es tied up. <coughs> neat. Ok, so let's go. Let's, let's work in, in trios. We're going to work in trios. Vamos a trabajar en trios. Van a practicar la pronunciación. <coughs> and you help each other. Ok, the two, the two ones that we have practiced. Uh, vamos a ver how many members do we have? Almost 20. So we got a great number today. So we're going to use. Okay. Si toca conmigo, Mayra, por la cámara, por favor. Okay, six. <laughs> okay, let's go. Thank you. 
Ah, bueno. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Six. Our garden doesn't look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. We don't know the answer. They don't work very hard. Oh, terminé. Ah, ¿quién la estaba compartiendo? Me hubieran avisado. <laughs> Me, I, I did it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, finish, no sé quién, quién sigue. No, Risa. Sara doesn't like potatoes. No sé cómo pronuncia. Potatoes. Potatoes. Peter doesn't tidy up his room every day. Mary and Liena don't play football. My black dogs don't go in the phone. phone. The frog is nice, but it doesn't live in your house. Your garden look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. We don't, don't know the answer. They don't work very hard. Okay. Sara doesn't like potatoes. Pierre doesn't tear at his room every day. Mary and Lena don't play football. My dogs, my dogs, don't go in the pool. Uh, the frog is nice, but it doesn't live in our house. Our garden doesn't look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. We don't know the answer. They don't work very hard. Whoa. <laughs> the other. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't go. Wow. Strange. Strange. Don't go straight. Don't go straight. Stretch. Um, Stretch. Don't straight. go straight. Straight. Um, que suene la T. Straight. Don't go straight. Don't go straight. Um, don't to lift. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't don't dedicate yourself to your study. I don't like in Russia. Leave, leave. She doesn't work in the police station. The doctor don't, doesn't study, study much. 
I don't start my new job in 17th June. On. The exam period doesn't and on a 24th December. Doesn't end. Emily's plane. Excuse me. Uh, uh, the exam period doesn't end. Does ah oh, okay okay. The exam period doesn't end on twenty fourth December. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. 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 Okay, guys, continue. Hours. Okay, excellent. Continue, guys. I'm going to visit some other guys here. Era doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't on 24 December. Emily's play don't, don't not. Doesn't. Doesn't in two hours. Hours. Two hours. I, hours. 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 Me. Instructions. Don't go straight and don't turn left. Don't res restart your mobile phone. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. Permanent question. I don't live a Russia. I don't live. I don't live in Russia. She doesn't work in a police station. The doctor didn't study math. Me? Yes. Lane Futuri. I don't start my new job in 17 June. The examen period doesn't in on um, 24 December. Emily Play doesn't land in two hours. Correct. Thank you. Teacher. Uh, yes. Home. Yes, sorry. Listen mute. It's, cor it's correct. Mom. What? What word? I'm sorry. Or it's correct from some mobile phone. Mobile phone, you can mobile say mobile phone. phone. Yes, mobile phone. Yeah, it's very common. Okay. Yes. Okay. Two. Teacher? Hello? Hello? Mobile, también es correcto. Yeah, but Americans say mobile. Like be mobile, mobile, que es mobile. como móvil. Es para mobile. referirnos a móvil. Ajá, teléfono móvil, mobile phone. Hay, hay una marca de, de celulares, recuerdo aquí en El Salvador, Go Mobile. Ajá. Esta, era como mal pronunciado por nosotros. Es eh, Be Mobile. Ajá. <laughs> People say that. But that's okay. It's, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Teacher, the exam period is for pronunciation. Yes, exam period. Yes, correct. That's correct. Straight. Yes. Yes. Straight. Yes. Straight. Okay. Yes. Restart, teacher. Yes, restart. Yes, restart. It's correct.
guiding before Ah, uh, Zaira, creo que se, se escucha muy, muy bajo su micrófono. No sé si debe ser algo que, que tiene que verificar ahí, ya que si se escucha bien suave. ¿Le escuchan ustedes suave a, Je a, a Jenny y Omar? ¿Le escuchan suave? Yes. Sí, entonces tiene que yes. verificar. Tiene que ver algo ahí, eh, posiblemente donde esté el microfonito, que sea speaker y que diga headphones, y el otro tiene que ser microphone array realtor audio. Entonces, eh, puede ser que también el formato del micrófono, porque si se le escucha algo suave. Ok, guys, continue. Continue with the practice. Y voy a visitar otro grupo. Teacher, teacher. Yes? Teacher. Pronunciation is don't dedicate yourself to your study. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Don't dedicate okay. yourself to your studies. Como es, es plural, studies. Studies. That's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. See you around. Okay, este example. Eh, this me don't don't go on holiday every day. Sarah doesn't like potatoes. Billy doesn't tidy up this room every day. Mary in Lena don't play football. My dog don't go in the pond. The frog in the night, but it doesn't live in the or house. Or garden doesn't look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. We don't know the answer. They, they don't work very hard. Be sure. Teacher. Hello, the teacher. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Este... Ya no escucho el teacher. Sí, te escucho todo. Te... Justo empezaste a hablar vos y el entró. Ah, Ay, teacher, <laughs> escúchelas a ella. No, 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 no. Escuche a Mayrita primero, va. Ese mismo. Dale, no, Mayrita. Este, puedo decir eso. Oh, I, 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 I don't, don't start my new job on 7 June. No sé. Oh, ah, oh. sí. I, I don't I don't I don't start my new job on 17th June. 17th. 17th sounds like it's a th so it's a th 17th 17th June. 17th uh, 24th. 24th ah yeah uh, the last the last exam period has an end on the 24th December December into no me creía, Karen. Exam period. <risa> Por ejemplo, los americanos, o la, los, los americanos, cuando ven la palabra I don't start, usted no lo, ves, eh, no lo va a escuchar muchas veces como I don't start. Está bien, pero hay personas que lo dicen tan rápido que no dicen I don't, sino que dicen I don't, I don't start, I don't know, I don't start, I don't think about it, I don't think. Entonces, ese I don't, lo convierten como I don't, I don't, porque lo, hace, lo dicen rápido. Entonces, uh -huh. Pero, you, you know, I, I don't understand, I don't, it's like the word. Yeah. Okay. Continue, guys. Yeah. Va, escúchalo este ya tiene tiempo. Eh, solo la uno más, uno más, porque tengo que ir a visitar otro, ah, otro breaker room. Ok, a la <laughs> Mayra, a la Mayra, a la, la Mayra. Perdón, ¿quién va a ser el participante? La Mayrita. No, 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 no. Voy a leer una yo y otra tú. Va, dele, pues. Ok. Um, <laughs> pues sí. Sufro, In teacher. Sufro, instructions. Don't go straight and don't turn left. Vamos a ir a la otra presentación. Ah, oh, bueno. Ay, estuve. Ay, dale con eso. 
downstairs your mobile phone. You can say uh, mobile. Eh, it's bastante común decir mobile. Eh, mobile phone. Mobile. Yeah, mobile. Like, yeah. Okay. Don't dedicate yourself to your side. Permanent situation. I don't live in Russia. She doesn't work in a police station. The doctor doesn't study math. Plain is future. I don't start my new job on 17th June. Sam period doesn't on 24 December. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Okay. Okay. Bien. Bien. Is very clear. Hi, thank you, teacher Ali. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, yo dando las palabras. Excellent. Okay, see you around. Excellent. Continue. Are okay. oh, you finished? Okay. Terminaron. Todavía no. Todavía no. Sí. Okay. Okay, see you around. Okay, see you around, guys. But it doesn't live in our house. Our garden don't look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. We don't know the answer. They don't work very hard. Mauricio, te toca comenzar. Pero vamos en la ocho, en la nueve. No, baja la tres. Uno, dos, tres. Ah, ok. Uno, dos, tres. Sara doesn't like potatoes. Peter doesn't tie up his room every day. Mary and Lina don't play football. My dog doesn't go in the pond. The frog is nice, but it doesn't live in our house. Our garden don't look very nice. The children don't play in the garden. We don't know the answer. They don't work very hard. Okay, uh, back to the number eight. Eight. Yes. Okay, start. Don't go straight and don't turn left. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't dedicate yourself to your study. Wendy. Permanent situations. Ah, Mauricio, Mauricio, yeah. yeah. I don't like, I don't live. In Russia, Russia. Yeah. She doesn't work in a police station. The doctor doesn't study math. Uh, study. Sorry. Study. Sorry. Study. Plain future. I don't start my new job on 17th June. 17th June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The exam period doesn't end on 24th December. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Okay, Wendy, start the instruction. What? Start the first, the... The... Usted first comienza. Plane. Oh, sorry. Instructions. <laughs> Instructions. Instructions. Don't go strain and don't turn left. Don't restart your mobile mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile. Do it's correct. What? Mobile. Mobile. Don't restart your mobile phone. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. Permanent situations. I don't live in Russia. 
she doesn't work in a police station. The doctor doesn't study, uh, study much. Plain future. future. I don't, perdón? Future. Future. I don't start my new job on 17th June. The exam period doesn't end on 20, 20, 24 December. Emily's plane doesn't land in two hours. Okay, just start. Two hours, uh, in two, two hours. Not two hours. Mauricio, just start. Instruction. Don't go straight and don't turn left. Don't don't restart your mobile Re phone. Restart. Restart your mobile phone. Don't dedicate yourself to your studies. Wendy. Permanent situation. Teacher. Hello. En mi grupo estábamos. Eh, eh, yo les decía que la pronunciación para Sara era Sarah. Pero otro compañero decía que era Sarah. ¿Cuál es la correcta? Si es americano, Sarah. es Sarah. Si es eh, latino, es Sara. So that's the end. Depende del contexto. Ajá, so en este caso, aquí como lleva una H sería Sarah, Sarah, it's like American, it's American. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for the time. Uh, we're going to, well, I was, I was thinking to, but I was presenting the, okay, vamos con la última actividad, y para eso, it says, your turn, write six negative sentences, about you and a colleague. Uh, la pronunciación es colleague. Digan conmigo colleague. 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 Uh, colleague, I would say in Spanish, colega. So that's colleague. Colega. Usted va a escribir seis oraciones negativas acerca de usted y su colega. Por ejemplo, I don't do this one. Es como decir, yo no hago esto. I don't... Eh, puede ser referente a su trabajo, por ejemplo, qué cosas que usted no hace. I don't uh, eh, organize meetings, por ejemplo. I don't organize meetings. I don't eh, eh, work in constructions. I don't take money. So you like talk about about this. Okay. Okay, así que tenemos, uh, we have five minutes and then we're going to socialize uh, the answers we have together. Okay, let's go.
Teacher. Yes. How can I help you? Eh, ordenado, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? O sea, que alguien es ordenado. Eh, es la palabra que la palabra que vimos se recuerda eh, tira. Need. Need. Oh, need. Ah. O, o need también. Puedo usar la palabra need. This person need. is need. It's need. Es ordenado. So this person is need. Teacher, pregunto. Este, son tres oraciones negativas mías y tres de un compañero de, del trabajo. O ah, puede seis ser. mías y seis de... Sí, podría ser, porque aquí solo nos piden six negative sentences. Entonces solamente seis. You can, you can eh, split three and three. Yes, you can do it. Teacher, what's the meaning? Llamar la atención? Oh, no sé. uh, like call the attention, call the attention like this. Call attention. Like this. Uh, I'm sorry, it's like I will make it smaller to, in order to be seen like this. Look, call the attention. Call the attention. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the first person that finishes, you say, teacher, I finished. What's the meaning killer? Rent. Rent. Or rent. Oh, okay. That's rent. Teacher, para decir irresponsable. Eh, como está responsible, eh, is irresponsible. 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 Teacher. Yes. Who is it? We don't stop working as a team or we don't stop working in a team? Uh, the first one. As uh, a team. Yeah, as a team. We don't stop working uh, as a team. 
Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Teacher. Hello. Para decir nunca nunca se enoja. Never get mad. Never never get mad. Or never get angry. Never get mad or never get angry. Finish. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, who else finish? King Mas, uh, culminado. Finish. Okay, finish. excellent. Finish. Muy bien, finish. por el tiempo, por el tiempo, vamos rápidamente a los breakup rooms y usted va a compartir con sus compañeros sus oraciones. Entonces, eh, lo vamos a hacer rápido porque ya estamos eh, like out of the time. Y vamos a trabajar en este momento esa estructura. Así que, eh, para los que ya lo terminaron, que pues rework en that, all right? So, let's go. Así que compartimos las oraciones con los compañeros en parejas, en pairs. Ok, we have uh, four minutes to do this. Uh, Jose, Jose Hernandez. Este dijiste. I don't. They, they. Uh, they do, they don't perform operation. Uh, ok. Eh, te voy a leer las mías. Yeah. I don't practice English in the morning. I don't work on Sunday. I, I don't play soccer. La number four, Marco doesn't come to work early. Mar uh, huh? Marco doesn't come, come, como no llega temprano a trabajar. Uh, Coming to work early. La number five, Marco doesn't clean his workplace. In the number six, Marcos didn't work yesterday. 
Marcos. Didn't. Ajá. Forma negativa, pero, pero como te digo, como dice en español, va Marcos no llegó a trabajar ayer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No sé si tienes alguna duda con las mías. No, no la entiendo. No está clara. Espera, que okay, el teacher creo yo. Ay, hola teacher, ¿nos escuchó el teacher? Yes, I was, I was listening. Le, It's okay. Le, leele, leele las tuyas rapidito, David, please. Para alguna corrección ah, okay. que no quiero hacer. Ok. I don't record account items. Item. Number two, item. 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 Items, yes. I don't, I don't file documents. They don't prepare the report. She doesn't sing report. They don't perform operations. They don't do a marketing. Uh, you said uh, she doesn't perform. Era performs. She doesn't perform. No, they they don't. O es, eh, no, usted me dijo don't. sign. Hay una que era sign. She doesn't sign. Uh, era... She doesn't. Sí, she doesn't sign report. Ajá, uh -huh, sign. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Sign. It's ok. Eli. Me. Uh, yeah. I don't practice English in the morning. I don't work on Sunday. Sunday, yeah, but that is. Sundays. 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 I don't play soccer. Marcus doesn't come to work early. Marcus doesn't clean. His workplace. No sé si esta se escucha bien así, Ticha, porque no sé si solo íbamos a ocupar dasen o don, pero Marcos didn't work yesterday. Eh, esa es una estructura en pasado. Ajá. Sí, sí. Sí se puede, pero esa no es la estructura, esta es presente. Entonces tendría que ser dasen, solo cambia la dasen. Da, vaya, está bien. Dasen. Sí, hey. tenía una duda porque solo se me vino a la cabeza. Ajá. Solo se me vino a la cabeza. Ok, chicos. Bueno, y sí creo que ya es hora y regresamos ya por el sí. tiempo. Thank you, guys. Uh, bien, vamos a pasar brevemente la asistencia. Así que dicen presente. Please do me the favor. And we go with this. Uh, Ana Cecilia Martínez. She's not. Ana Cecilia Reyes. Present. Eh, eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Elías Sael Matut. Present. Guillermo Antonio García. Guillermo Antonio García. No está Guillermo. Eh, José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. José Rodrigo Hernández. No está. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Teacher, ah. a José se le la carga del celular, por eso se salió. 
José Rodrigo. Eh, José Rodrigo, ¿qué es usted? Ah, vaya, vaya. Eh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Present. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Present. Ok, eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mayra, Pere, Mayra Pereliz Moreno. Eh, Omar Francisco. Present. Ok, Omar Present. Francisco Hernández. Present. Eh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Eh, Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. Ok, guys, thank you so much. Recuerden, por favor, terminar. Si no han terminado alguna tarea de esta semana, termínelas porque mañana temprano yo subo las notas. Entonces, si lo puede hacer hoy, hágalas mejor ya y pues hoy en la noche las paso. Así que, por favor, eh, terminen las tareas eh, de esta semana para que pueda subir yo las notas. Entonces, thank you guys for being here in the class and have a beautiful night. Eh, enjoy your night, guys. Y me quedo con, eh, bueno, con la persona. Me. Vamos. Yes, yes, exactly. Me. Muy bien, muy bien, Christian. Okay. Thank you, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, you too. Good night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. You too. Have a great day. Enjoy. <laughs> See you. Blessing. Bye-bye. Okay. Blessings. You too. Pasó lista, teacher. Se me agotó la batería al final de la clase. Sí, ya la, ya se la, ya la pusimos acá. No se preocupe. Ah, excelente. Gracias, teacher. Oh, no, José. It's a pleasure. Ok. Ok, eh, Cristian. Cristian, Cristian. Ok, Cristian. Eh, how are you, Cristian? Cristian, I have seen that you are like, you're speaking English good. So I was like very... Uh, fascinated because you are participating, you know vocabulary and also working the pronunciation. That's really good. So you have a great potential to maximize the skills. So tell me, how do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? Eh, microphone. Eh, turn on the microphone. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Don't okay. worry. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, I feel good, but... Um... Sometimes it's very difficult, the pronunciation. And I try uh, uh, speak uh, the words, but um, uh, I feel it's, it's, it's difficult. Uh, for example, uh, 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 ¿Cómo podría decir armar? Armar una oración, ¿cómo podría decir armar? Eh, set, para a en inglés. sentence, eh, o crear. Yeah, create, set, organize, write. Create, write. create, create, create eh, a sentence, set. for example, eh, eh, lo último que estábamos viendo ahora, eh, voy a hablar un poco español, igual. Okay, por ejemplo, ahead. estaba haciendo oraciones con, con Dasen. Y en la estructura tengo problemas para armarlas. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, ahora, no sé, escuche eh, si está bien o lo hago muy literal o me falta un poco lo gramatical. Vamos a ver. Ok, por ejemplo, la, la primera oración dice así. My boss doesn't like to the arrive late to the work. Eh, my boss doesn't like My to boss be. doesn't like. Yo puse to the arrive. Eh, to the arrive late. Okay. My, my boss doesn't like to arrive. En ese caso sería I, eh, late. Entonces, como decir, a mi jefe no le gusta llegar tarde, si no me equivoco. Correcto, correcto. Ajá, entonces, ajá, o, yes. O quise, o, o quise dar a entender también las llegadas tarde al trabajo. Mm -hmm. My boss... Uh, does does not or doesn't like uh -huh. to arrive late. Ah, con eso estaría bien, va. To arrive yeah. late. To arrive. 
no sería necesario, por ejemplo, to arrive to the work o at work. Creo que sería muy redundante, ¿verdad? Yes, sería así como que, ya, yeah, slight ideas. Pero si usted también quiere poner eh, que eh, lo quieras, este es como personal, a él no le gusta. He doesn't like to arrive late. Correcto. Pero si usted quiere decir que a él uh -huh. no le gustan las llegadas tarde, es como más general. Entonces, usted puede decir, eh, my boss does not like eh, the eh, late arrivals. Entonces, ahí ya lo hizo más general. Es decir, que a él no le gustan las llegadas tardes. My boss does not like or doesn't like the late arrivals. Ah, ok. Excellent, excellent. Ahora bien, pregunta. ¿Cuál es yes. is the difference between arrive and arrivals? Eh, arrive oh. es, es verbo. Eh, en este caso, arrive se convierte en verbo, es en función de verbo. Y arrivals es eh, como un sustantivo. Mm. Eh, eh, llegadas. Eh, llegadas, que significa llegadas entonces, eh, esa es como la, la diferencia ok, muy buen dato no, 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 no había diferenciado entre esas palabras, por ejemplo, de que una se convierte en un sustantivo y en un verbo que Ajá. casi tienen el mismo significado pero en realidad en el contexto es diferente algo así Nouns, ok. Es un noun, es un sustantivo y arrive aquí hace la función de un verbo. ¿Ah? To arrive late. Así es. Muy bien. Eh, me okay. dice que. Ok. I that's understand. Ok. Oh, that's okay. awesome. That's eh, awesome. Eh, I have a one, one more. Excellent. Go ahead. Ok. 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 Um, es. Um, my partner doesn't tied up in your work area. In your work area, my partner doesn't tie up in your work area. Correct. Uh, It's correct. En este caso sería in his, his work area. Oh, excelente. Ahí es donde... Eh, eh, cuando, cuando puedo decir a eso me refiero, ¿cuál sería la palabra correcta para afirmar? Eh, that's, what, that's what I say. Oh, that's what I say. That's what I say. Ok. Ok. That... I say, okay, that's what I say. Okay, excelente. Eh, porque eh, a veces me cuesta armar la estructura, que es lo que le explicaba al inicio. O sea, uh -huh. eh, yo entiendo en algún momento, pero creo que siento que soy muy literal. Esa es una. Y la otra parte es de que hay momentos en que sí la pronunciación me sale bien. Pero, por ejemplo, en este caso, lo voy a volver a repetir así como te, lo tiene escrito usted y tal vez usted va a escuchar en mi en la pronunciación que como que no lo, lo estoy haciendo muy robótico algo así pero no sé si es por esto mismo de que uno se está adaptando o es que a mí me cuesta la pronunciación pero lo voy a decir y escúcheme Lisa okay. listen to me okay my partner doesn't tie up in his work area o sea sí está bien pero siento que lo hago muy robótico no sé quizás eh, Está bien, o sea, la pronunciación está bien, claro, si, si usted lo quiere hacer un poquito con acento diferente, entonces es como decir, oh, my partner doesn't tie up in his work area. Entonces es como que se suelta y se suelta un poquito y lo hace como corrido, pero so my partner sí. doesn't tie up, like como, es decir, natural, que suene un poco natural, pero, o sea, lo ha pronunciado bien, en pronunciación está bien. Ahí sería tal vez el acento, ¿verdad? Que le podría dar... El acento, y creo que ha dicho algo muy, muy importante. Creo que la soltura. Uh -huh. Eso de, de, de soltarme, creo que me hace falta y suena un poco robótico y un tanto literal. 
pero eh, por lo demás, ¿cómo se podría decir en inglés por lo demás? Eh, por, eh, diría, por lo mismo, por design, no. Look at this, look at ahí, no sé si puede ver la pantalla. Ok, ahorita, ahorita, ok. Overall. Exactly. So, también lo puede decir, eh, también puede decir otherwise. Otherwise. También es otra, is another way to say it. Eh, otherwise. Oh, otherwise, qué bien. Otherwise. Okay. Overall o otherwise. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise. Otherwise, eh, por lo demás, eh, como le digo, eh, sí comprendo, tengo un poco de... de de conocimiento, conocimiento. ok y, ajá, y, y eso pero en la pronunciación ahí siento de que yo pero eso soy yo verdad así siento que me cuesta un poquito y entiendo algunas palabras entiendo algunas oraciones cuando usted está hablando de corrido inglés claro o quizás por lo mismo quizás me quiero exigir y como que en la misma saberlo todo en un momento y, y entenderle y decir ah qué bueno entiendo pues pero pero sí, las clases son bien prácticas, eh, yo le entiendo lo que usted dice, eh, y me está sirviendo mucho, porque lo poquito que sé, lo básico que sé, hay cosas que, eh, de las que usted explica y que dan en la clase, me complementan, y eso me ayuda bastante. Yeah, of course. Y eso It's es muy importante. Cover. Es That's a real purpose. So, congratulations, because you're doing a great job. So, así es, yo creo que no tiene que... Eh... No tiene que ponerse así como presión de que siento que lo estoy diciendo mal o se lo dice muy bien, pero es cuestión de proceso, es un proceso. O sea, está en, este, en esta etapa y cada vez va a ir avanzando más. Por eso es que yo tengo la, 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 la noción de decirle, miren, eh, puede que yo lo pronuncie bien. Eh, my partner doesn't tie up in his work area. Yo lo dije bien, claro. Ahora bien, eh, cuestión de acento ya es otro proceso, más que todo práctica, escuchar escuchar inglés, escuchar nativos, entonces ahí usted va adquiriendo ya un acento diferente. No es lo mismo como le digo, decir, my partner doesn't tie up in his work, like, my partner doesn't tie up in his work area. Entonces ahí cambió, pero ¿por qué? Porque usted ha estado eh, escuchando ese inglés, entonces ahí el acento usted lo va adecuando a través de la práctica. Creo que está bien lo que está haciendo, está en el camino que necesitamos llevar, y paso a paso okay. ir aprendiendo cosas nuevas. Entonces, pero igual veo que tiene un buen conocimiento. Y algo que me llama la atención es que hay que explotar ese conocimiento. We need to show, participate, practice okay. Eh, okay. in the class and you will get like more natural in the way to communicate. Ok, excelente. Y así lo voy a hacer. Y, y de, lo, de lo más principal, pues creo que es eso. Eh, hay algunas cosas, como le digo, de que trato de hallarle sentido y meterme bastante en el contexto de la palabra, entenderle, la pronunciación y todo, pero por lo demás, eh, ahí, vamos, ahí vamos. Ok, excelente. Bueno, entonces le agradezco mucho por su tiempo okay. y pues felicitarlo también por su esfuerzo. Así que espero que eh, see you the next week. Eh, con, complete the exercises and have a beautiful okay. eh, weekend. All right. Enjoy your time, Christian. Uh, thank you. Uh, igualmente. Cuídese. It's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay. Good night. Take, Good night. Take care. You too.